In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this hero section with a background video in Divi. It's a Divi design challenge that one of my lovely students, Anna, sent me to recreate what's on Marie Folio's beautiful website. She's got this big, um, almost full screen hero header with the background image and this big bold text on top that's all responsive as well. Um, so there are a few ways of doing it. I have tried and tested a bunch and this is the best way I feel to do it based on getting the real look and the professional look and style that you want. And what I've done is I've actually uploaded the video to my website and embedded it that way. There are other ways where you can upload the video to YouTube, which is what I did. I created this background video, uploaded it to YouTube and you can embed it using code. The downside of that is that you end up with the sort of name of the video at the top and these like watch and share links and the YouTube like play bar and everything. So it looks a bit ugly. And as a designer, I do not want that on my site. So that was a uh, no for me. You can also upload your video to Vimeo and you can embed it without any of that stuff, but you do need their pro plan. And even though I have a paid plan with Vimeo, I don't have their like higher pro plan. And so I'm not able to do it that way. So the only way I'm able to achieve it, allow it to autoplay and not have any of that background stuff, um, the buttons and things going on, is to upload the video to my website and embed it. Um, not embed it, use the, uh, the background, uh, video background thing, which I'll show you right now. So let's just enable this and I'll show you what I've done. Uh, so I will actually recreate the whole section and you can see how I'm recreating it and I'll show you a little trick, a few little tricks along the way as well. Okay, so what I'll do firstly is actually go in and show you the modified style so you can see how I've set all this up. Really, it's just a row, a section with a row and one module. So if we go into the section settings, I'll just right click here and go view modified styles. And so the only things that I have changed here is I've uploaded my video, added it there. Um, and I've also, if we scroll down, I've set a minimum height to 80 uh, view height so it takes up at least 80% of the viewport height each time which is similar to what Marie has done here you can see a little bit of the top and a little bit the bottom but it's taking up most of the screen height um, with the video too what I found is by creating my video and actually putting that black overlay on the actual video file means that um, I don't I can set it up this way because you can't actually add a video background like a color to color overlay to a video background in Divi unfortunately you can when it's an image but you can't if it's a video so adding it there cut out that step I meant it meant I didn't have to use any other code it also meant that my video file was way smaller as well which is great so these are the video files for comparison um, let me do that uh, so we have the one with the video with the background overlay like the image, uh, the color overlay at 7.5 meg. It's still really quite large and not something that I like. I don't necessarily recommend having background videos like this on your website. Although they look amazing, they can lead to a lot lower slow times and performance, uh, low times and performance. But um, you know they do look amazing. So I understand if you do want to have one. But this made the file size not too bad, which is quite good. Without the black overlay, if we go here, it was a lot higher. So it was 11 meg uh, and I didn't change anything. All I did was add the overlay. So um, that's a good little tip there. Also, I trialed saving it as a GIF to see if that made it any better. Actually makes it way, way bigger file size. So do not recommend <laughs> saving them as GIFs and using them as GIFs. Okay. So that's that there. That's all I changed for the section settings. So let's go add that section now. So I'm just going to add a new section and let's just add the row in. Might as well just add the module in while we're there, but I won't edit that module yet. <coughs> um, okay, so we'll go into the section settings. We go to background, click on background video, and then I've already uploaded the video, but otherwise you would just upload it here. Um, if you were going to embed a YouTube or Vimeo video, you would insert from URL here, but you'll notice you'll run into quite a few little um, errors depending on how you've 
save the video, what your settings are, all that. It's like, it's just a bit tricky to do. So it does make it easier just to have it on your website, especially when it's not like a huge file size. Um, so I've changed the background and then the other setting I had to change was the sizing of that uh, section. So I'm going to go to sizing and I'll make the minimum height of 80 viewport height. So you'll see now it's made it a lot larger and save. Okay, so the next thing is the row. So let's see how I've set up this row. I'm just going to right click on the row and go view modified styles. And so the only thing I've changed here is the positioning. So I wanted to have that text centered both vertically and horizontally. So I've set it as an absolute position and clicked on the center. So we'll go down here and go into settings, advanced position, set it to absolute and then click on the center and you'll see how the text has moved down there now. Okay. And last but not least is the text module. So let's right click here and go view modified styles again. And so I've set this as heading text, I've centered it, I've made the color white. You will see that I've got this um, underlined and pink and italic and stuff. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. I've also set up, uh, I set the, the font size and the line height and I've set a different font size for tablet and mobile as well because obviously that text would be way too big on other devices. So let's go do that now. Um, so what I'll do is just go in here copy this text. I'll actually show you what it looks like here. So it's um, heading one, it says heading one, there's a background color and I've made it um, italic and underlined. So there's a bunch of different stuff going on in here, but I'm just going to copy this just so I don't have to retype it out. Let's paste it in here and I'm just going to paste it in as plain text so that we can add all the stuff that I want to add. Uh, so first things first, let's go in actually to the design tab and let's just adjust the color and the sizing and stuff so we can see it. Um, so I'm going to set the font. Let's um, actually, I want it to be heading one. So let's do that first. So I'm just going to highlight all that and you can click on here and go heading one or there is a shortcut actually on my Mac. I can go option control one and it'll make it heading one, which is pretty cool. Um, my heading one text is Playfair Display, which is very similar to what she has here, kind of. So I'm just going to use that. But to find out what people, what fonts people are using, there's a couple of tools you can use. One in particular I have is What Font. Uh, it's just a Chrome extension, and I can just click on any font, and it's going to tell me what font that is. So that's kind of handy. Okay, so I'm going to center this text, make it white, and then I think I had 110 pick. 110 pixels uh, and I had 1.1 line height and then I can't exactly remember what I had here but let's just have a play probably about 70 that looks good and this is maybe 45 that looks pretty good too okay so there's those ones and the other thing I want to change is making this underlined italic and that pretty pink color as well. So we're going to text. I'm just going to highlight this and go um, italic, underline. I'm also going to change the color. Let's just select any color. This is a little trick. So if you just select any color, then you can go into the text tab here. And all you need to do to make that color exactly what you want is just replace this hex code. So I'm going to go back. If I want this exact color, um, you can use this color pick uh, eyedropper which is another free Chrome extension. Just let it load. <laughs> uh, there we go. Oh, I think because the video, this is the downside of having videos. Um, copy that. Oh, I'm actually on my website, but it was the same color that I used on, uh, was used on Marie's. So I'm just gonna paste that in. Oh, and I make sure you paste the hash. Uh, and there we go. So we've got that. So I think that was all the settings I needed to do actually. Let's just double check. View modified styles, centered, 110. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, so that's it really. And now we can save this and let's just look at our page here and make sure that it's, um, 
I'll just refresh the page and we'll have the new section appear underneath. And it should hopefully look exactly the same. I'll just go like this to see it all adjust down. So it's all mobile responsive. So the mobile screen's shorter, it's going to get shorter as well. So yes, very, very cool. So that's how you create that hero section, just like on Marie Folio's website.